Hi friends, good morning. Welcome to my channel, Balu Master. Today I am going to discuss Target KSET 2021 Definite Integration Part 6. In the previous two parts in Definite Integration, we discussed the problems which are related to some values or some known results, some direct formulas approach. How we can able to complete the sum by using shortcut formulas, that kind of questions we discussed in the previous part. Whereas in part 6 compulsory, you need to do the sum. Okay, so in those three models, compulsory two questions we can able to do directly. One question compulsory, you need to do the method. By solving the method only, we will get the answer, the kind of models they are going to ask. Let us move to part 6, which kind of questions they are asking in case at previous entrance examination. Okay, let us start our session friends. Yes friends, in this part 6, the first model is in to cos inverse x dx integral minus 3 to 3 cot inverse x dx. This is given in 2020 and this is given in 2019. <clears throat> so this kind of questions are the most important questions uh, we need to solve by using integral uv only. Why? Because uh, we cannot able to solve by using uh, even odd function property. Because right? it is of the form minus a to a but we cannot able to decide this function is even function or odd function. That's what compulsory you need to use the method as uh, integral uv only. So according to uv you need to decide first what is u function what is v function so by that purpose we need to use ilate rule according to ilate ilate indicates i is the inverse function logarithmic function algebraic function trigonometric function and exponential function okay which function comes first that is what u the second one is v so actually this is a look like a single function but this is not single function you have one more function that is what uh, one one into cos inverse x this can be written as uh, so very clearly cos inverse x is always inverse function this is inverse function inverse function means uh, you are going to call as inverse function as u and v is nothing but algebraic function actually one so that's what we are going to call as one now you need to apply the formula as integral u v dx integral u v dx is equals to the formula is u integral v dx minus integral derivative of u integral of v dx whole dx is the formula so if you apply this formula here so this can be written as u what is u here cos inverse x cos inverse x into integral 1 dx minus integral derivative of cos inverse x into integral v dx whole dx and hence we can able to write very easily minus 1 by 2 to 1 by 2 is there and also here also minus 1 by 2 1 by 2 is there of course here also it is there so cos inverse x into integral 1 dx is nothing but x between the limits minus 1 by 2 1 by 2 minus integral derivative of cos inverse x is minus 1 by root over 1 minus x square Integral 1 dx is nothing but x. So d, dx between the limits minus 1 by 2 to plus 1 by 2. So this is equals to if you substitute upper limit 1 by 2 cos inverse 1 by 2 minus minus 1 by 2 cos inverse of minus 1 by 2. Now this can be written as minus integral minus 1 by 2 to 1 by 2. I want to apply here the formula as integral f dash of x by root f of x dx. Denominator root is there that's what the formula is integral f dash of x by root f of x dx. Integral f dash of x by root f of x dx is equal to 2 root f of x plus c. So under root f of x is there means the derivative f dash of x is required in the numerator. So what we can able to write if you see f of x is equals to 1 minus x square 1 derivative 0 minus x square derivative you need minus 2x but 2 is not there that's what multiplying divide by 2 multiply and divide by 2. Now it is of the form f dash of x by root f of x dx. So this can be written as 2 times of integral root f of x. So already minus 1 by 2 is there outside into 2 times of root over f of x. f of x is nothing but 1 minus x square. So between the limits you need to write minus 1 by 2 to 1 by 2. And hence what happened? This is equals to 1 by 2 into cos inverse 1 by 2 minus into minus plus 1 by 2 into cos inverse of minus theta pi minus cos inverse theta. Cos inverse of minus theta equal to the formula is cos inverse of minus theta formula is what? Pi minus cos inverse theta. That's what we need to write here. Minus 2 to get cancelled. If you substitute upper limit uh, 1 minus 1 by 2 whole square and also lower limit also you are getting the same thing 1 minus. Uh, minus 1 by 2 whole square means of course that is also 1 by 4. Upper limit lower limit both will be cancelled. You are going to get the result is 0. So then what happens here? Half into cos inverse 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 into pi pi by 2 minus 1 by 2 cos inverse 1 by 2. And if you observe very clearly 1 by 2 cos inverse 1 by 2 is cancelled. 
so 5 by 2 is your answer so 5 by 2 is your answer friends so of course this is not too difficult model if you have the commanding on integral uvdx you people can able to do very very easily this sum so why is this is repeated in 2020 question and also this is what in 2000 19. Now I move to solve this question. Now same kind of logic only integral minus 3 to 3 cos inverse x can be written as integral minus 3 to 3 1 into cot inverse x dx. This can be written as so in inverse function always u and the algebraic function is b. So if u integral v dx minus integral derivative of u integral v dx whole dx. This can be written as integral 1 dx x between the limits cot inverse x. The limits are minus 3 to 3 minus integral cot inverse x integ derivative is minus 1 by 1 plus x square. Integral 1 dx is x dx. If you observe, it is of the form integral f dash of x by f of x dx. Whenever f dash of x by f of, uh, f dash of x by f of x without root, whenever it is there, this can be written as log mod f of x plus. So now one derivative zero, x square derivative is two x squared. Here minus not necessary. I need to take minus outside in the next step, and I want to multiply and divide by two. Then I want to substitute here three cot inverse three, formula minus, and the minus three into cot inverse of minus three. So minus into minus plus 1 by 2 into 2x by 1 plus x square dx. Multiply and divide by 2. Then what happened? 3 cot inverse 3. Minus into minus plus 3 into cot inverse of minus theta pi minus cot inverse theta. Plus 1 by 2 into until f dash of x by f of x log mod f of x. Now I want to use the limits between the limits for this function. So minus 3 to 3. So this can be written as 3 cot inverse 3 plus 3 pi minus 3 cot inverse 3 plus 1 by 2 into upper limit if you substitute uh, 3 square 9 9 plus 1 10 lower limit also if you substitute uh, same value will get it in between negative symbol is there that's what the result will become 0 so 3 cot inverse 3 will be cancelled then the answer will become 3 pi 3 pi is your answer friends uh, it is also very very simple and easy approach only let's move to next model friends so this is what integral minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 cos x by 1 plus e power x dx minus pi by 2 pi by 2 1 by e power sin x plus 1 dx 0 to 1 1 by e power x plus e power minus x dx all the three questions one kind of question only given in 2020 2017 and 2018 so all the three questions similar kind of model questions only let us see how to solve this kind of questions so very easy to we need to apply the property for this kind of questions that is what uh, integral a to b f of x dx is equals to the formula is integral a to b f of a plus b minus x dx this is the formula actually it is of the form integral minus a to a but we cannot able to decide this function is even function or odd function that's what we are not supposed to do by using that method so we are going to use the formula very simple formula a to b f of lower limit plus upper limit minus x that's it instead of x you need to substitute so this can be written as let it be called this value as i equation number one then the new i will become integral minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 where x is there you need to substitute lower limit plus upper limit minus x that is what cause of lower limit minus pi by 2 upper limit plus pi by 2 both will be cancelled minus x that is what minus x by 1 plus e power minus x dx so this can be written as minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 cos of minus theta cos x by e power minus x can be written as 1 by e power x take lcm e power x plus 1 by e power x and hence you will get here e power x dx so this is what equation number one then equation number two just you add one and two one plus two can be written as i plus i is equals to i integral minus pi by two to pi by two if you observe the denominators both are one plus e power x only if you take lcm you are getting cos x plus e power x cos x let us take cos x as common you are getting one plus e power x dx obviously one plus e power x is cancelled then cos x integration is nothing but sin x between the limits minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 and I have sine 91 minus uh, sine of minus 90 minus 1 minus of minus plus uh, so that's what 1 plus 1 equal to 2 so 2i is equals to 2 means uh, the answer is i is equals to 1 i means the given question so 1 is your answer friends let's move to next question the same approach only integral minus pi by 2 pi by 2 1 by e power sine x plus 1 dx let it be called i and equation number 1 
as per our rule you need to apply the same property i is equal to integral minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 so dx by e power lower limit plus upper limit both will be cancelled minus x sin of minus x nothing but uh, minus sin x plus 1 this is equal to integral minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 so e power minus sin x means 1 by e power sin x take lcm you are getting e power sin x by 1 plus e power sin x dx equation number 2 this is again you need to add 1 and 2 1 plus 2 can be written as i plus i 2 i equal to integral minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 if you observe the numerators are same 1 plus e power sin x only if you add numerators of course the numerators also e power sin x plus 1 only that's what uh, both will be cancelled then it remains uh, one only integral 1 dx is nothing but x between the limits minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 so upper limit minus um, lower limit that is nothing but pi by 2 plus pi by 2 is nothing but pi and uh, hence i can be written as pi by 2 so pi by 2 is your answer third option is correct answer coming to third question it is not like the same model question just a small change in the model just you need to observe because e power minus x is there e power x also there just you need to simplify this question then this can be written as uh, integral 0 to 1 1 by e power x e power minus x can be written as 1 by e power x take lcm e power x whole square plus 1 by e power x and hence you can able to write in the numerator dx now you can able to take very clearly the substitution if you take substitution put e power x equal to t e power x dx can be written as dt so very very simple question whenever you are taking the substitution you need to change the limits so if you take 0 e power 0 is equal to 1 if you take 1 e power 1 equal to d so e power x dx is nothing but dt by e power x t whole square that is what t square plus 1 and hence integral 1 by 1 plus t square dt is equal to tan inverse t between the limits 1 to e. So that is what tan inverse e minus tan inverse 1. So then and hence tan inverse e minus tan inverse 1 is equals to pi by 4. Tan inverse e minus pi by 4 is your answer. In the next part, I'll come with exampler book. So in different integrations, kind of areas are the most important uh, in exampler book I'm going to discuss. Uh, I told number of times the exampler book is the most most important uh, for upcoming case at entrance examination. So I'll stop here friends. That's all for today's class. Thank you so much.